Hey there, Internet. For the past couple months, I've had the honor to beta test the new GoPro Fusion camera and stitching software. Most of the footage you're going to see in this review was shot on that beta camera. This review is completely honest and unbiased. GoPro hasn't paid me a cent for this video. In fact, I purchased two of the GoPro Fusion cameras at full price, no discount. If you're interested to know more about this camera, I'll be releasing a new 360 video about a different feature every day, so make sure to click that subscribe button for the latest news, and write a comment below if there's a specific question you have about the camera. So I bet you're wondering, how the heck did I get beta access to the new GoPro months in advance? Well it just so happens I teach a sports and VR course at Academy of Art University in downtown San Francisco. My good friend and co-instructor of the class works for GoPro and thought it'd be a cool idea to let our students use the beta camera. Don't ever let anyone tell you that teaching doesn't pay. So before diving into the nitty gritty technical details about this camera, here's some amazing footage shot on the camera by my students at Academy of Art. I've included links in the description below this video so you can find out more information about these student filmmakers. One of the biggest challenges of assessing a new 360 camera is testing out all of the different features available. Thankfully, I had a ton of friends who were interested to help me test it out. Testing at low light, 6400 ISO, with my buddy Balabal. What's up? And also, Believe. Believe. Mind VR. <laughs> uh, check out Balabal's YouTube channel yeah. at, at Balabal Sadu. You probably don't know how to spell that, but he's going to put it in the description. There's going to be a link here. <laughs> this video will be a month after we've had our whiskey. Yeah, here. dude, exactly. I'm literally like shooting my vlog in advance, so today I, I have think to that's a nothing. smart way to do it, dude. 1600 ISO. I think you said it too quick. Say it again. 1600 ISO. Let's see what this looks like. How does it look? He spilled some water. Let's <laughs> clean it up in the stitch line. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what his hand shows up like. The stitching is I've not heard the bad. offset lenses help with the stitching. Is that true? I think it makes sense. Cool. Now we're on 400. We got some drinks. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> If it's anything like the previous GoPros, I think 400 would still look pretty decent. This is Ben from Life in 360, and guess what I've got? It's the Fusion! Ditch line. Hey, show off, he's going way faster than me. From what I've seen so far, I've got to say I've been absolutely blown away by it. Um, it's rare that I use the word game changer when it comes to 360 cameras, but for me, for video, this I'm not going to say game changer, but it changes the landscape significantly because the, the footage is so sharp, right? It, it's actually similar to what you'd see from a normal video. After showing Ben the slow-mo feature in the GoPro, he agreed to a nerf battle. Let me know in the description who you think won. I'm pretty sure I got more hits on him, but let me know.
and to be honest, I didn't expect a lot from GoPro going into this. The Omni system I was kind of disappointed in, being someone who shot with seven GoPros and then they wanted it to squish down to six. And it was just not an all-in-one system. Here we are 12 months later and they're releasing this amazing all-in-one 360 camera that looks like it does better than the Omni in terms yeah. of the quality and just the stitching is unbelievable. Yeah, and you know what? I previewed the Odyssey the other day, which is 16 GoPros, one rig. This footage looks better, mm -hmm. which is incredible because this is only a 5.2K camera, right? So technically, it should be far inferior to these much more expensive rigs, but this has been such a beautiful thing because it's incredibly sharp and it's affordable and it's tiny. Um, I would say another nice feature of it is that you don't really need to connect your cell phone into it to be able to, you know, operate everything on there and change uh, specific details. One of the downsides, I think, to a lot of 360 cameras right now is you need to plug it into your phone or go on Wi-Fi in order to use all the full utilities in there. Mm. For instance, the Garmin Verb, which I think is probably the closest comparison with this right now in terms yes. of price range. That's a great camera mm -hmm. to get 5.7K res, mm. but I have to have my cell phone connected to it the whole time. Mm. And so that's not really realistic for if I want to get that res on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Motorcyclist has to have their phone open mm. too somewhere. And yeah. But meanwhile, I can put this on there mm -hmm. and I think get better quality footage. Mm -hmm. Even though the resolution isn't as high, I think the sharpness, mm -hmm. the dynamic range, all those other things make it a better camera. Yeah, so with, with the design, one thing I do like is that little screen there where we can see all of our features. So we can change modes, we can change resolutions. Um, it's just really handy to have, to be able to um, to see your, your settings as you change them and not have to connect to your phone, like Kevin said. Um, I've also noticed there's quite a few panels um, on the top and the, the sides and the bottom um, that it seems to accommodate a lot of things. Um, you can do a lot of things to the body. Um, and have you found that the design in terms of the, the compartments has been kind of well arranged? Um, I think the design in terms of the compartments is definitely well arranged. Yeah. And just the overall ease of use, like just being able to turn it off so ultimately, who do you think this camera is targeted at? Is it targeted at beginners, intermediate, advanced? Who's the crowd? Who are they trying to sell this to? Honestly, this camera I think can apply to anyone. If you've mm. never had a 360 camera before, this is a great intro camera. You'll get amazing quality. You'll have stitching software that will make it very easy. And it's reliable, which is a major, major factor that drew me and attracted me to it. On the other hand, the Omni was completely unreliable with what you get out of it. So I would say that that's great for beginners. And then on the other hand, it's great for people who are advanced like me and want to do things like shoot for hours on end time lapses and be able to attach them to drones. Yeah. Which, by the way, I brought this drone here. Would you want to go fly on this? Yeah, let's go. Let's, go. Let's, let's take this for a little fun. Let's do it. Let's get in trouble. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe. Check out Ben's channel to see the rest of this review because we're both shooting reviews today and they're going to be completely different. So, so yeah, head on over to youtube.com slash life in 360 photo if you want to see my GoPro Fusion review. Until next time, keep capturing your world in 360. This has been your boy Ben and my main man Kevin. We'll see you in the next video. In 360.